What's up, gents? I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I've had a few requests to do a review of this razor, which is a Parker 94R. It's a short handle razor, and this razor weighs in at 3.3 ounces or 93 grams, and the overall length from top to bottom is 3.25 inches or 83 millimeters. As I said, short handle, it has really fantastic knurling on this, uh, on this handle, easy to grip, and plus this slot here where it's cut, it's very sharp and defined, so if you can hold it with one finger or even two fingers there, even with soapy fingers or shaving cream laden fingers, you're not gonna drop this razor. It's really easy to grip. And it's pretty hefty for the size of it. As I said, the 3.3 ounces for this size razor, it's a sturdy little razor. Here it is next to the Merker 38C, just so you can do a little comparison. And then here it is next to a Feather All Stainless. Right there. So you can see the height difference on it. It's a closed comb razor, and it's a three-piece razor. So you just unscrew the handle, separate the three parts, top cap, safety bar. I'll be using a feather blade today, one of my all-time faves. And just drop that right over the pin and the two posts, like so, and reinsert the top cap to the safety bar, screw the handle back on, just reassemble and ready to rock and roll with the shave. Let's check the reveal. Looks good to me, very even, even on both sides. You can see that. You don't want it uh, protruding more on one side than the other, otherwise you'll get a more aggressive shave on one side of the razor and less aggressive on the other side. Let me lather up, I'll warm my face, lather up, and we'll put this razor through its paces. I've got some pretty decent stubble, a couple days worth of beard growth here, so we can see how it performs. I just hopped out of the shower a few minutes ago, so my beard is pretty warm. I'm going to lather up. This brush is a Simpsons Chubby One, super. Little figure eight method to smooth everything out. The utmost zen part of my shave right here. Love it. I'll clear the runways so I can see the sideburns. All right, let's see how this baby does. Okay, I'll start on the right side here, just perpendicular, and then tilt slightly upward to find that angle. Work the way down. Got some good audible feedback from it. Yeah, very nice, it seems to be good. Excellent, no problem removing my beard. Let's do the left side. This side's filled, we'll go to the other side. The beauty of a safety razor. Hopefully you're getting that feedback. You can see that, wow, just one pass. Pretty aggressive little shaving razor. I'm impressed with it. Rinse that off. Down the chin line now. Now down the neckline. Flip it over. Now the mustache area. Little clean up. After the first pass, I'm quite impressed. This is a nice, pretty aggressive little shaving razor. I'm very smooth right now. I'm gonna lather up though, perform one more pass just to get super smooth.
I'm using the Taylor Vauban Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream today, which is, as I've said before, one of my all-time favorites. Just love the scent of it. Good cushioning ability. Go the runways. All right, first pass was with the grain, north to south. Now I'll go against the grain here on my neck. This gets me nice and clean on my neck area. And I'll go across the grain on the right side here. Fantastic. Wow, really nice. Now across the mustache area. Again, my fingers are wet with this handle. Very easy to grip. A final rinse off. I use hot water and then cold water to close off the pores. And just pat the face dry. As you can see, two passes is all it took to get my face baby smooth. Love it, very nice. Uh, I'm just gonna apply some of this George F. Trumper Sandalwood Skin Food. Follows up nicely with the Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Final thoughts on this razor. I normally don't like short handled razors. I prefer long handles, but this razor, I have to give it some props, it's really nice. Uh, the knurling that I mentioned, and then this little slot right here, this groove, makes it very easy to hold on to. And it's got a heft uh, weighted towards the head, so you don't use any pressure at all. Just the weight of the razor does a really nice job. Let me separate this. Let's remove this blade. You can see my blade is kind of gunked up. It's got shaving cream and hair residue on there. So that's why it's good to remove the blade if you can from your razor and clean your razor after using it. As far as the safety bar, the closed comb bar, on one side it has a P on it. I'm not sure that might stand for Parker. And then on the other side, it does say, right up top here, it says India, which is where these razors are made. Parker razors are made in India. So just put it back together for your final adios to it. Final look. As far as aggressiveness on this razor, the 94R, I'm gonna give it a six. So from one to 10, five being right in the middle, and say a uh, Merker 34C would be three, four, this is a six. And uh, Mula R41 would be all the way at the top, or the Icon Tech would be all the way at the top, close to 10, this is a six. As you saw, I had a two or three day beard growth, and it removed it in short order. Excellent little razor. If you wanna pick one of these up, just click the link under the video where it says show more, or go to shavenation.com and enter 94R in the search box and it'll pop right up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Geo Fatboy. Have a great shave. Have a great day.